One of the common problems in many Android devices following the installation of the latest Android is about notifications. In this video we'll show you the solutions that you can do if you have notification problems on your Galaxy S10 after latest Android update. First, ensure that notifications are set up for apps. You can customize notification settings for each app manually so the first troubleshooting step that you want to do is to check how the app you're having an issue with is configured. My default apps are set to show notifications but it's possible that the problematic one right now may have been set not to show. Next, make sure Do Not Disturb is off. Do Not Disturb D and this a handy feature in certain situations like when making sure that you don't get any alerts during the night but it can also be a source of confusion for new users. When D and D is enabled you are given three options on how long it stays that way like until I turn it off one hour and ask every time. Next, Checklist of Sleeping Apps. From time to time your device may suggest that you put an app to sleep because it keeps running in the background. If you follow the recommendation, this will make that app to stop running but also in a suspended state. It won't be unable to send you notifications while it's in sleep mode. Try to check your list of sleeping apps to see if the app you're having notification problems is in there. Next, check Data Saver. If you still have notification problems on your Samsung Galaxy S10 after latest Android update, the next logical thing to check is Data Saver. Do this especially if you rely mainly on mobile data for your internet needs. This feature works by minimizing data usage of your device by preventing apps from using data in the background. Next, turn off battery optimization. Another possible cause for your notifications issue right now may be battery optimization. Your Samsung Galaxy S10 has a decent power management that also includes battery optimization. This is a feature that filters apps that seem to be regularly consuming power ahead of others. The system will then recommend if you want to battery optimize that app to save power. Because battery optimized apps will be restricted, they won't be able to send notifications to you. You can toggle battery optimization for each and every app that you want. Make sure to turn this feature off on the app that you're not getting notifications at this time. Remember battery optimized apps are partly disabled and can't pull notifications for you. Next, turn off adaptive battery. Samsung introduced adaptive battery feature back in the era of Android 9. It's an effective but less known feature that can put apps to sleep or disable them right away depending on the situation. If you think that adaptive battery is not working properly by not prioritizing your apps well, you can manually check and disable it. Next, refresh system with a forced reboot. All Samsung devices with power issues can benefit from a restart. Some minor bugs developer for devices left running for a long time. This is recommended that you restart your phone once at least every few days. Restarting your Galaxy S10 is easy there are two ways to do it. First you can use the restart button from the menu option or you can press and hold the volume up button and the power key at the same time for 10 seconds or until the device's screen turns up. Next, white cache partition. If you have notification problems before installing latest Android update, you may have a possible issue with your Galaxy S10 system cache. To check try clearing the cache partition where this cache is stored.
Next, reset all settings. Some apps and services require other default system apps and services in order to work. Sometimes these default apps may be turned off by other apps or after some system changes like after an update. Next, make sure all apps are updated. First, you want to make sure that all your apps are fully updated. You can do this by going to your Play Store app. If you have apps taken from outside the Play Store, you may need to update them by installing an updated app. Work with the app developer to know exactly what to do. Next, observe device on safe mode to check for broken app. If your Galaxy S10 continues to have notification problems after latest Android update the other possible reason that you want to check is presence of bad third-party app. Not all apps are built with the same scale and resources so some may suddenly start acting up if the developer did not prepare it for a new Android version. To check if there's a bad third-party app in your device you must run your S10 to safe mode. In this mode all third-party apps are blocked, grayed out so they can't run. If notifications work normally on safe mode that means that you have a bad app at hand. Lastly, wipe the phone to return software to defaults. So far the only effective way to fix post-Android update issues that we know so far is factory reset so if none of our suggestions in this video has helped you must consider this solution. Since the most likely reason for notification problems or software in nature factory reset will highly likely be of help. If your case is that the phone is not booting up or it boots but settings menu is inaccessible this method can be helpful. First you need to boot the device to recovery mode. Once you successfully access recovery that's the time that you begin proper master reset procedure. It may take some tries for you before you can access recovery so be patient and simply try again. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.